What happened to the crystal? Where is this? You stand before the final dimension, and I am the darkness of eternity. Who, who are you? Oh, wait. We need a different voice if it's a, if it's not Garland. Should be Chong. All life bears death from birth. That's not Chong at all. Life fears death, man, but lives only to, lives only to die. It starts with anxiety. Anxiety becomes fear. Fear leads to, oh, fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Suffering leads to the dark side. <laughs> I can't do that voice anymore. The only cure for this fear is total destruction. Kuja was a victim of his own fear. He concluded he could only save himself by destroying the origin of all things, the crystal. What the heck are you talking about? Why are you telling me all this? Now the theory is undeniable. Kuja's action proves it. All things live to perish. At last, life has uncovered this truth. Now it is time to end this world. What do you mean by that? I exist for one purpose. To return everything back to the Zero World where there is no life and no crystal to give life. In a world of nothing, fear does not exist. This is the world that all life desires. Who the hell do you think you are? You're not ending anything. Never, not as long as we have the will to live. Foolish creature. Your fears have already deluded you. One day you will choose destruction over existence, as Kuja did. When he sought to destroy the crystal, the purpose of life ended. Now come, enter the zero world that you desire. No! We'll destroy you and prove you wrong. And through our memories, future generations will see that we can overcome any fear. can't give up now. We have to fight together. Even if we lose, it doesn't matter. Our memories will live on inside others. So even if we're born to die, I'm not afraid. I'm gonna live. Oh, good. Now, for this final encounter, I'm actually going to switch in Steiner for Vivi because Steiner has shock. Come back after you kill bad guy. I prepare a big meal for everyone. Don't screw up. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Good luck. Oh, you can do a lot, BB. It's just I'd like to see about having the ability to do maximum damage. Promise me you'll win. If I can't win with this one, I'll probably switch Vivi back. Now, you don't have anything equipped. So we want to up your... What do we want to up your strength? Dark matter? 
protection. That's actually a decent idea. You have lots of defense and magic defense and magic evade and evade. Yeah, we're gonna go for that. Now, your abilities, on the other hand. What ability does your weapon have? Slow. That could be useful. Alright. I think we're good. Actually, wait. These three still have that fucking... Body temp on. now ready to face the final boss. Woo! We've come too far to lose now. Let's wrap this up and go home. All of us. This should be interesting. I've never seen this final boss fight. I don't know anything about this final boss fight. I remember trying to watch a video when I was on dial-up internet way back in grade 8 that showed a level 1 party trying to beat it. I got the first minute. That's it. I don't know how to fight this boss. I just know that I'm going to destroy this boss. Necron. And once again, I'm going to avoid using any elemental specific attack blue shock. If I had more dark matter, I could also use that for a 9,999 attack, uh, or 909 blah, max damage attack. Thundaga. That hit everybody. Steiner's gonna trance. Sweet! I don't think that's gonna do anything, considering he's already doing max damage with shock, but we're gonna do it. Oh, no. Shell. Shell protects against magic, not attack, uh, physical attacks, so I'm okay there. The Mega Flare might do, like, one damage. Yeah, it didn't do that much. It did 1,400. Holy... Another dagger will just do curing. Actually, that didn't... Who did you cast Holy on? Let's try and kill him. Uh-oh. I've heard that this ability... Or this... this. Well, I've heard... What? 
I'm pretty sure Grand Cross was like the only ability that I actually saw used. Only one minute that loaded. What the shit? Never mind. I don't know what this ability is. This is where Zensetsu can just pass death. Nope. I didn't think it would. Shock! Oh, it's not doing full damage now. Okay. I need to remedy you first. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh no! Don't kill Dagger! She's remedying... Ah, oh. You gonna cure yourself? What is with all these final bosses curing themselves? Stop! It's not nice. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything now. I feel annoyed. Ooh, Steiner's gonna need uh, some ether there to do shock again. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Life. No way. I did it? Why defy your fate? I didn't do it. We're going up higher. Is the will to live that powerful? the end? I have no idea what's happening. The way we got beamed up there, it feels like there is a second phase. Am I right? Okay. This is not the end. I am eternal. As long as there is life and death. Oh fuck, that was the end. happening to the tree are you all right yeah but look at what's happening so what Kuja said was true the Ifa tree is beginning its violent reaction what's gonna happen I don't know but it doesn't look good I doubt anyone could have survived that explosion no. Captain. They are still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. I've begun. The Hildegard is probably closer. You, the tall one. Sir, Hagen Pluto Knight 8, ma'am. 
I didn't ask your name. Contact the Hildegard right away. Yes, sir, ma'am, sir. Uh. Please be alive. Sire, we're receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up on the main line. This is the Red Rose. Oh, wait. This is the Red Rose. You're not General Beatrix. Who are you? Oh. My name is Mikoto. Everyone is alive. You are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can hear him. Who? Prepare to land immediately. His voice changed. That's the Hildegard Three. Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Sid! Thank heavens you're all safe. Come quickly, we don't have much time. Farewell, Zidane. Ah, damn it. What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. Zidane, what are you doing? Steiner, take care of Dagger. What? What do you mean by that? Kuj is still alive. I just can't leave him. This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean... No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane. Why are you doing this? Because. Because I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fought against you guys and wreaked havoc in Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy. But I know, deep down inside, I have to do this. You're not crazy, Zidane. But you go help Kuja not good idea is too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way I could live with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. But we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. I didn't say decision. I said mistake. For me, now's that time. I have to face up to it, just like Vivi did when he confronted his fears to find out about himself. That was a big decision for Vivi. I don't know about that. I don't think it was really a big deal. That's what you think, but I might not be doing this if it weren't for you. You've definitely taught me to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrades in times of need. I shall accompany you as well. Whoa, wait a minute. Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermisha and Alexandria. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't... I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. You're a real simpleton. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out there? Get on board right now! Come on. Let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. Stain, I love you. You'd better come back. Dane, I need to eat more different food. I'm still hungry. You need to come back, take me more places. Show me more food. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed, Zidane. Till we meet again. Zidane, you taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. Zidane. Princess, we must go.
Tagger. I mean, your highness. The abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, you're, you're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. We faced many hardships too, but I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Zedine. Promise me one thing. Please come back. Ooh, I got chills. Ooh, I got chills. That's what this cutscene's or that picture's from. <laughs> I've had that picture for years. Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you. You still have time. Forget about me and go. Just shut up and stay where you are. I don't understand you. Okay, here goes nothing. green ones. <laughs> Zidane, don't get cocky. Oh shit, is that the Forbidden Forest? I know, I know, it, we're right here at the end, but a package has been delivered, so I will be right back, and we will wrap this up today. Don't worry, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I am back. Let us finish off this wonderful game. Ugh. Phew. Still alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. Hey, are you all right? Zidane! What are you doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't you do the same for me if you knew I was dying? Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah. I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. 
Yeah, well, it's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all that I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left. Nothing more to lose. Then I finally realized what it means to live. I guess I was too late. Hey, don't you go dying on me, all right? This does look like the vines from the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> Kuja, what you did was wrong. But you gave us all one thing. Hope. We were all created for the wrong reason. But you alone defied our fate. We do not want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. To remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason that our life has meaning. Some time later. Pace, will ya? I don't believe it, Vivi. Vivi? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's me, Puck. How could you forget me? Puck? You know, Puck! Prince of Bermisha? Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? If you're not Vivi, then who are you? I'm... Vivi's son. Yo! Look at all the Vivis! I always talked about you, Zidane. How you were a very special person to us. Because you taught us all this something, something, something. <laughs> Freya, you're leaving soon, are you not? Yes. I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria. I went there many years ago. How long will it take to rebuild Bermisha? That might have been Freya saying that. I don't care as long as I'm with you. Oh god, he put his hand through her stomach. I love you, Freya. Yet he still doesn't remember our past. I just want to cherish our time right now. You taught me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other and live life to the fullest. It's time to say goodbye to this room. Save the queen. You have served me well. My duty is finished here. Farewell, Alexandria. Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts. So I know we're not alone anymore.
Hey. Why are you going to Alex? Why are you going to Alexandria? You're not going? I, I never said that. Hey, wait! Why I was born, how I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me time to think. Good food, not only delicious. Good food made with heart. <laughs> Stupid itch. It's very important when cooking for friends. To keep doing what you set your heart on, it's a very hard thing to do. We were all so courageous. Hurry, hurry! We gotta get there before the play begins. Ah, there's no need to hurry. His voice just keeps changing. The theater ship is no match for my new ship. And my new Hildegard is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about the theater ship. Ahem. That's what you said, father. Oh. Eco, what did you just call me? Darling, she called you father. Father, mother, hurry! Say it again, Eco. They adopted her. That's so cute. What to do when I felt lonely? That was the only thing you couldn't teach me. But we need to figure out that answer for ourselves. Beatrix! Where are you going? Please don't ask. My mind is already set. Wait! Listen to me! Stop barking. I, uh... I never wish to lose you again. Steiner. Let us protect the Queen together. I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish we could have gone on more adventures, but I guess we all have to say goodbye someday. All right, you scumbags, we're almost there. Been a long time since we saw Alexandria. Let's give them a show they won't forget. Yeehaw! Break a leg, people! Everyone, thank you. Farewell. My memories will be part of the sky. I thought she was retiring. She came back because it's diner. The theater ship will arrive any minute. It's been so long. I can't wait to see everyone. She grew her hair out long again. Disappointed. But it'll never be the same. I have to let go of the past. I have to move on, just like he taught me. Oh, hi. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. And now, your Lo Royal Majesty Queen Garnet, Steiner, Beatrix, noble ladies and lords and our rooftop viewers, Tadalus proudly presents, I want to be your canary. Marcus? 
Sweet Marcus, I fear I love thee more than I should. Princess, will thou be happy, married to a lowly peasant? Prithee, call me princess no more. Marcus, wilt thou truly cherish me, the king's only daughter? Or is such a desire too dear to wish for? After our nuptials shall be more blah, shall I become no more than a puppet, a mindless puppet, never to laugh, never to cry. I wish to live my life under the sky. At times it la uh, pff, But no life is more Jesus, these subtitles are going way too fast. Cast away thy trappings of royalty, and I shall swaddle thee in a gown of pure love. Never again will I part from thee. Pray, my love, make me thy canary to keep. Let us embark on our first ship tomorrow. All my fortunes are at thy foot. No cloud, no squall shall hinder us. Oh, love is the sweetest joy and the wildest woe. All I wish is to be by my sweet Marcus's side. Fee, it shall be war again. Ne'er will I let their plan come to fruition. Good day to ye, Highness. Good day. With thee of Marcus. Marcus, what news dost thou bring? This. Oh. Where is she? Where's mine only daughter gone? Blank, good man. Hast thou seen Cornelia? Worry not, Majesty. I shall make sure Cornelia marries Prince Schneider. At ease, sayst thou. How can I rest knowing she is... Could it be thou hast betrayed me? By my troth, sir. Oh my gosh, these subtitles move too fast. Stay that hand. I merely... Merely sought a lasting peace between the two kingdoms. The traitor is dead. Oh, cruel fate. You two, quickly, find Cornelia and bring her before me. Yes, your majesty. Wretched daughter, how dare she disobey her father's wishes. The time for our departure is long past. Where is Cornelia? Marcus, the ship soon embarks. Board ye this boat alone, and peace could be on both kingdoms, so blank so, as Blank so said. Speak, Marcus. She told me that she could not live without me. So the sun is our enemy, too. The eastern sky grows bright. Will we not spread our wings as yonder birds enjoy us flight? Hark, Marcus, they cannot wait any longer. The ship departs. she have betrayed me? Nay, ne'er would my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear if I only believe. As the sun lends me no ear, I pray instead to the twin moons. I beseech thee, wondrous moonlight, grant me only one wish. This is Zidane, right? Yeah. Bring me my beloved dagger to me. I, f I figured it. Past all the peasants and nobles.
How do these people not realize she's coming through? Does she not know how to speak? Oh no. It's gonna be picked up by Vivi or Freya or Amaranth. As long as that's the last thing that comes off. <laughs> Tiara off. Gloves off. Dress off. So many Vivis and Emirate and Freya and Queena. And the save the queen glinting off. How did you survive? I didn't have a choice. I had to live. I wanted to come home to you. Oh. So. So I sang your song. Our song. 